Hey guys, it's Melissa from Wax It. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and like the videos. Um, today I'm going to be doing a woman's full arm service and how I do that. And I'm going to break it down step by step for you guys to kind of give you an easy way to do it yourself. Um, whether you're working on new clients or you're new to the business or maybe new to hard wax. So hopefully this helps and you guys learn something new. Um, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a comment down below and let me know what you think or anything you think of for future videos. I will definitely be listening and reading and I appreciate everybody and the time it takes to watch this and I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's jump right in. This is a woman's full arm service. I will be using hard wax and my wax of choice is Nova and I will link everything down below for you guys so you can check it all out. It is the only wax I like to use and it is the best one I have found so far. So here I am cleansing and prepping the skin. This is always your first step in any waxing service you do. Always prep the skin. I use a micellar water, but it's completely up to you. It just removes all the makeup, oil, lotion, dirt, whatever that is left on somebody's arms. Okay, the first strip I'm going to lay is the inside of the arm. In a one, two, three motion, I remove all the wax from my stick, going in a downward motion towards the wrist from the inside of the elbow. I am pushing my wax down. You can see all the wax is in front of my stick. I'm gonna rotate my wrist. I'm going to flick up and I'm gonna give myself a good lip right there. Now you're going to let this strip dry a bit. There's no need to push on it or touch it, but you are going to let it dry completely. And then you're going to push the client's wrist downward so you can keep the skin taut. You don't wanna leave it loose up like that, otherwise you're not gonna have a good removal. It'll be uncomfortable. So point the wrist down, push into the skin, pinch up with your index finger and your thumb. You got a good little pinch there. Readjust, remove the strip. Nice and easy. Okay, you're gonna give the client a little bit of some pressure right there. Go on to the next arm. Again, one, two, three, my stick is clean. There should be no wax left on your stick. You're gonna push that wax down towards the wrist in an even motion with an even amount of pressure. You're going to apply a nice even strip. You're gonna give yourself a lip by rotating your wrist, flicking up, and giving yourself something to hold on to later. Okay, just like on the other arm, you're gonna push the wrist down. You're gonna pinch up with your index finger and your thumb. With that lip that you had, you're gonna readjust the tension, holding the skin taut. You're gonna go upwards and you're gonna remove that strip. Okay, now you've done both of the inside of the arm right there. You can see that all the hair is removed. So now you can clearly see the wax side and the non-wax side, which is a great visual for you guys to notice where the hair is and where you're gonna lay your next strip. So on this side, I'm gonna work in three different parts. I'm gonna do a brick lane pattern, one strip there. I'm leaving the center empty, and then I'm gonna lay the other strip towards the top. So her hair is going downward, okay? You have a couple of options here. You can lay in a brick lane pattern, which I'm going to show you on this side of the arm, or you can lay a completely full strip from the inside of the elbow down to the wrist. So first on this side, on this right side, I'm going to show you how I would lay a brick lane pattern. I'm going to clean the wax off my stick by doing one, two, three. I'm pushing the wax in front of me and scooping up so I try not to drip any on the client, which is why the paper is there. That's a great reason for the paper. You're going to ro rotate your wrist and you're gonna flick up and that's gonna give you that lip. And you really do need a good lip here to give yourself something to hold on to for removal. Next, I'm gonna go right above it. I am leaving a hand space in between this next strip. So I'm laying right above it, so there's nothing in the center. So your strips don't overlap and touch each other. This is a great piece of advice I can give you. Never let your strips overlap. Again, one, two, three, giving yourself a nice lip right there. Rotating your wrist is the best thing you're gonna be able to do to give yourself that lip. A good even strip, and the great thing about Nova Wax is that I can leave it there for a little bit, move on to another strip, and I still get an even removal. Here, you're gonna hold the wrist and push the skin down with your index finger and your thumb. Rotate, you're gonna pinch up, pull, and remove. And so you can see right here when I remove my hand, the great difference between waxing and not waxing. Her skin is doing amazing. Again, I'm gonna pinch up, rotate, you gave yourself a lip, hold the skin taut, readjust and remove, just like that. So now you have both strips removed and you just have the center left. So now you just have that center strip left and you're gonna lay it the same way you laid the other two as opposed to going up and down. You're just gonna grab a good amount of wax, you're gonna lay it on the skin, one, two, three, your wax stick is clean and while pushing down and moving the wax and scooping technique, you're going to lay a good even strip. Again, you're gonna rotate your wrist towards the bottom and you're gonna give yourself a lip by flicking up. You're gonna let it dry fairly quick, and this wax is amazing, it does its job, and it's already dry. Look at that lip right there, I'm trying to show you guys. Now there's nothing in between because we laid that strip already down the center, so no hair is being snagged or it's not being uncomfortable right there. 
while holding the skin taut and down you're going to pinch up again with your index finger and thumb hold the skin again readjust each time don't just keep going readjust the skin see how i held it down just like that super easy removal and now you have the top and the center done so here again i'm showing you there's this one small little strip in this i guess that's the top of the arm for some reason with me i always miss that strip and i'm going to show you guys how to lay a new strip right there and it's not affecting her skin she's not overly red or uncomfortable i'm asking her as we go one two three you're going to remove all the wax off of the stick and you're going to go in a downward motion towards the wrist you're going to give yourself a good rotation and a great lip right there now this strip is fairly thin so it will set up really nice and quick and you don't need to leave it there for very long and you're going to again hold the wrist down you're going to pinch up like i always say pinch and pull with your index finger and your thumb and always readjust so if you don't get it on the first strip readjust hold the skin taut holding down and then slowly move up and you're not harming the client while you're doing it now this next strip i'm going to show you is what i like to call my cleanup strip so we have done everything on the inside of her arm and the top of the arm and then down towards the wrist so we finish that part of the arm the only thing we really have left is to clean up any small fine hairs that may be left over and these strips are done in the opposite direction of the hair and usually going upward so i start at the wrist this time a small thin layer one two three the stick is clean all the wax is off and going in an upward motion i am laying a pretty thin strip and i'm giving myself a lip and that will be removed really quick. You don't need to let this one sit so much because you've removed most of the hair. Anything that's left over is really going to be fine and thin. So that's the benefit of this wax is that it really does remove kind of everything in a great amount of time without having to lay so many strips. So you're gonna hold the skin taut while moving it up. So you want it really tight. You don't wanna have loose skin. It'll be uncomfortable for the client when you remove it. Again, you're gonna use your index finger and your thumb and you're readjusting along the way and you're always giving the skin tension. And if it breaks like that, it's not breaking as in dry. It's breaking because her arm is warm and the wax is warm and it's probably time to give her a break. So we move on. We go down from the wrist to the elbow and this is really the only hair left Left. and there's not always a lot of hair here but there is some hair so I like to make sure that they have a good even wax and I always do this part of the arm while we're moving this strip towards the elbow it's a little bit more difficult and it's kind of hard but you're gonna hold the elbow down you're gonna always pinch and pull with that index finger and that thumb and then you're gonna readjust along the way so you're still gonna give the skin tension and hold it taut and just remove going right upwards so there is some wax left over and I'm not really concerned about it because we are going to do another strip down there. Her skin has cooled off and it's completely fine. So now I'm gonna lay another thin strip going from the wrist down to the elbow, but having her face her palm towards herself and it gives me a good space to work with. Again, I'm cleaning the wax off the stick. I'm dragging downwards, going to the elbow, flicking my wrist and going upwards. Good rotation right there and laying a good even strip so you can have something to hold on to to remove later. Now when it's that tacky, you don't need to push on the wax. What I see a lot of the time is waxers pushing their hand on the wax to make it adhere. That's not how that works. The only time that works is in soft wax and that's not what we're doing here. With hard wax, it's not necessary and it's really just putting more pressure on the client. So holding the elbow, you're gonna pinch and pull. This time my thumb is facing upwards and my index finger is down. I'm gonna pinch up, I'm gonna readjust, and I'm going to hold the skin taut again and remove. And keep holding the skin taut as you move up the arm. It will definitely benefit your client to do that. Now the whole bottom half of the arm is done. The only thing we're gonna have left is the top of the arm. And that usually can be done in two strips on the front and then the elbow strip. So right here, you're gonna see me going from the top of the shoulder, one, two, three, my stick is clean, no more wax. I'm gonna drag the wax down and most of that wax is in front of my stick. That is how you make yourself a lip. So dragging the wax down, rotating the wrist, flicking up and getting rid of any excess wax. So right here, again, the wax strip sets up fairly quick and it's ready to go. So I push down and I'm gonna do again, pinch and pull, readjusting the skin, holding it taut, pulling down going up and easy removal. I'm then gonna move on to the, uh, the back side of her arm, I guess. So move your clients around. Don't be afraid to say, hey, can you go here? Can you go here? Um, it's just necessary. You need to have them move around for this service. So starting again at that line up there at the top of the shoulder, going down towards the elbow, but we're not capping the elbow yet. I'm gonna show you guys that next. Here again, great strip, giving myself a lip, rotating upwards and it's gonna set up fairly quick because these are thinner strips. The hair up here generally is pretty fine and thin for the most part. 
holding the skin down. I'm gonna pinch up and pull. Again, I'm gonna readjust my hand and holding her skin taut and then going directly upwards. Okay, here's the elbow. I take it in two parts, almost like a knee. So I'm gonna cap it this way, going across from the outside in. And this is a fairly thicker strip because the elbows are dry. They almost always are dry and it is a hard strip. But with this wax, I find it doesn't crack on the elbows. It's a great high quality luxury wax. So I gave myself somewhere to go. I'm gonna pinch down into the skin and up and then remove and just keep holding the skin taut. That's all you can do is give the client comfort by doing that. And there's easy removal. Next, I'm gonna overlap a little bit and I'm going to lay another strip slightly below it, but again, overlapping because I wanna make sure I remove all the hair around there. So scooping up and really quite a bit of tension here because it's a harder area. It's almost never a pretty strip, but it does the job. So you're going from the outside in, and I gave myself a lip, and I have somewhere to go, which is the top of her arm. And then that's pretty much it. The elbow is capped and you're done. So you're just gonna remove, you know, holding the skin taut and keep going. Lastly, I'm doing a cleanup strip, again, which is the opposite direction of the hair growth, a very thin strip going from the elbow now to the top of the shoulder and capping it. And I'm gonna remove it fairly quick on this one. It doesn't need to set very long, just super easy. Just keep dragging down, holding the skin taut along the way. And one, two, three, it's off, just like that. So these are really great strips to show you guys how I remove all the hair. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys that full strip from the top of the inside of the elbow, I guess, down to the wrist. And now this strip needs to be a little bit thicker, so you need to grab a little bit more wax because you're essentially removing everything in one strip. So it does need to be a little bit thicker of a strip. You're gonna still give yourself a really good lip there. And again, here you're gonna see that lip. So you always need to point the wrist downwards. So you're never going to want to leave the skin loose. Again, you're gonna push down, it's all set, it's ready to go. You're gonna pinch up and pull, and in one fell swoop, you're gonna try and readjust, holding the skin taut and removing upwards towards the client, always. Always try and give them a little bit of pressure right there. It's a great strip. Um, it just removed everything beautifully. It was really, uh, very, I was very surprised, very happy with this wax again. So instead of laying the brick lane pattern, I just did one full strip and we already did the inside. So now all we have left is for her to bend her elbow, her arm. I'm gonna readjust and you can see right there such, like the difference is amazing between the wax skin and the non-wax skin. Number one, exfoliation. Number two, hair removal. It's so great. So I really am just gonna have her rotate her wrist and I'm gonna lay that next strip from top of the wrist to bottom of the elbow. And I'm trying to get everything kind of in one fell swoop right there. So one, two, three, I clean the wax off of the stick going downwards, guys. Gravity, the wax is falling, it's warm. So you have to kind of move a little bit quicker when doing this. Still rotate your wrist, flicking upwards, and you are going to give yourself a great lip. Again, same thing, you're gonna want to let it set up and dry, but it does it fairly quick especially in this area and it's kind of cool outside. So here I am and it's always kind of an awkward position when you have to hold their elbow, but really get your hand in there, use your thumb to push down and pull back. And then with your index finger and your thumb, you're gonna pinch up just like that. And you're gonna readjust and you're gonna keep holding their skin taut and you're gonna remove going upwards, just like that. And give them a little bit of pressure right there. And now I'm gonna have her move on to the next strip, which is open palm towards me. So this next strip is gonna be from the top of the wrist to the bottom of the elbow, which will essentially, we have removed everything at that point. So now all we have left again is that open palm area, and we're gonna lay that strip from top of the wrist to bottom of the elbow, which is kind of a hard area to do because it can be you know, an awkward position, but you know, you get in there and you do your job and you get it all done because you want them to have a clean, even wax. You don't want to leave any areas. So top of the wrist, one, two, three, down. All the wax was removed off the stick. And again, gravity, it's hot wax. It will go fast. It will drip. Always have a paper on your client. I've done it a million times. Always rotate your wrist going up, flick, and then you have a beautiful strip. In order to get that rotation right there and that flip, you need to move your wrist. You have to move your body. You know, that's the only way to get that lip. Again, holding the skin taut, you're going to pinch up with your index finger and your thumb. You're going to remove it. And by readjusting your tension, it helps the client immensely. You really need to be aware of your client's skin at that point. 
Okay, so now this was my last strip, again, towards the wrist where I always miss a little bit of hair. I laid a strip right here. I'm gonna pinch up and pull. I gave myself a good lip and I'm holding the skin down taut. So never let the skin stay loose. Again, I'll say it over and over again, otherwise it'll be very uncomfortable for your client. Now, just like I did on the other side, I'm going on the opposite side, but doing the same strips. Top of the shoulder, down to the elbow, laying a fairly thin strip because again, this hair is fine and thin and there's not a lot of it rotating my wrist upwards, getting a good lip right there. It's a little bit thin right there, I can notice it. So either add some more wax, which I'm going to do, which can kind of be controversial. Some people do it, some people don't. If I have the option of adding a little bit more wax to A, give myself a lip and fill in a little gap right there, I'm gonna take it because it's going to benefit the client and their skin in the end. So that's just what I did. I took a little bit of wax, I added it on there, gave myself a lip. I'm still gonna hold tension. I'm still gonna hold down with pressure. I'm going to give myself a pinch and a pull and upwards, and it gave me a great removal. I know some people don't like doing that because there's a difference in temperature of the wax when you do that, um, but for me, that's what I choose to do. So again, here's a great visual. I'm gonna do her elbow just like I did the last elbow. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go from the top of the elbow down to the bottom in one fell swoop. I'm gonna show you guys how to cap an elbow on this one actually. And it's pretty cool. Instead of, again, doing two strips like I did on the last one, I'm just gonna do one full strip and it's gonna be a little bit thicker of a strip and it's removed. I let it sit a little bit longer, I will say, but not too long, otherwise it'll crack because it's dry, it's winter, I'm in Southern California, we complain about everything, but our skin is dry right now. And if you do not get a thicker strip right there, you will not have a great removal. It will break on you. But this wax so far has not broken on me, which is pretty darn cool, I will say. I've had some waxes break on me. But just like that, one, two, three, it was done. And that's the edge of the elbow. Okay, all we have left is the back of the arm, which I'm gonna show you guys. These strips are all the same, very, big strips, but they're effective and they're a little bit thinner for the most part. But again, you see the strings there, always have paper on your client's lap. Those didn't drip, but they could have. Always have paper, guys, let me warn you. <laughs> so here you're gonna pinch up and pull, readjusting. Now that all that's left is the inside of the arm, guys, and move your client around. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I need you here, I need you to move here, or just physically take them and move them. I do it all the time. Always holding the skin taut, you are going to readjust and pull. And that's it, guys, that's the full arm. So I have one small little cleanup strip right here that I like to go towards the inside of the arm. Again, just like before, she's a little warm right here, but you can see she's not red at all. But I can tell when I'm laying the wax that it's a little bit warm, so it's not gonna be the best removal right here, but it's gonna do the job. Always holding the skin taut, you saw me push it up towards her underarm and remove. And just like that, you guys did a whole arm. Here I am putting on a little bit of um, alcohol-free toner, which is, I use um, Thayer's Witch Hazel. It's great for the skin. It's non-scented, alcohol-free, so it's not drying. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Desert Essence Tea Tree Ointment on there, and she is all set. Redness is to be expected. You just removed hair from the skin and it happens. But it goes away fairly quick. I've seen this client many times. She says that it lasts maybe 20 to 30 minutes, but all the hair is gone and she's silky smooth. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see. Bye.